Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is part one of a series of showing my plush collection up close and personal. I've had several requests to do a video series or a video to show you the details of them, show them individually instead of just videos of the shelves. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be doing a series of videos. I'm not going to do just one because it takes forever. It would probably be a two or three hour long video at the least. So um, I thought I would break it up into sections and do a little bit at a time. Um, maybe try to do 30 minute videos, maybe a little bit less. 20 minutes would be great. Um, that's just my ideal thing of what I would like to do so hopefully you guys watch and enjoy. I don't know how many parts I'm going to do or how many different videos it's going to take um, so just keep keep watching and uh, yeah so let's get into it. So the first ones I thought we would start with for this series is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. These are some of my favorites. I love 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 this collection of the Seven Dwarfs and as far as I know I have never seen another collection exactly like mine um, either for sale on eBay or Instagram pics or anything like that so they're super super special to me and this is Grumpy he is so cute and he is quite big and all of the seven dwarfs that I have are the same size and um, they're all from the same collection and as far as I know they are um, they were only sold in the UK and he's got a red jacket on or red shirt and he's got little patch a little patch right there in his belt and he's got another patch on the other side sorry Callie's barking but um, I love his eyes the embroidered eyes and it says grumpy on his little hat this is his hat and his shoes and he's got brown pants and tan shoes and he has a stamp. This is Dopey. He is one of my favorites um, of the Seven Dwarves. I just love him so much. I think he's a lot of people's favorite, but um, he's just so sweet. And this is Dopey, and um, he's got huge, huge ears. And I love his facial expression, and the size of their noses are awesome. And he's also got a patch on each elbow, and his jacket is much longer than the others just like the movie and he is blue and he's got the same patch as well except his is blue this is Doc and I love his glasses his glasses are actually plastic and um, his jacket is like a burnt orange color and he's got green boots and like the others his hat says his name and the hats are super exaggerated and they actually have just a little bit of fluff in the bottom of the hat just to kind of weigh it down and um, but yeah and his beard is shorter this is bashful and his beard is super long I love how long his beard is and like I said he's got the big giant nose too and he's looking up because he's bashful and um, He's got the patches on the elbows, and his belt is red with the yellow or golden color jacket. And he's got burnt orange shoes, and there's his patch. They all have um, beanies in their butts, and they're kind of like in a sitting position. You can kind of see they sit very nicely on a shelf. I love that. This is Sneezy. And um, like I said, I've never seen a set exactly like these before. And the reason um, that mine is different than the ones I've seen before is because all of their shoes and outfits are different colors from each other. Usually the ones that I see more often that are the same size or appear to be the same size is um, the ones that all have tan shoes. And they do have patches like these, but they're not different colors like these are. So I always thought this one, this set was very special and I'm so happy I have it. This one is Sleepy and of course he looks sleepy and he's got his name and um, his beard is cool too because it kind of comes to a point. It's long but it's not as long as some of them and it comes to a point and he's got a green jacket on 
with burnt orange pants and green shoes. And there's his patch. And the last one is Happy. And as you can see, he's very happy. And he's got the short beard and um, the brown jacket and yellow shoes. And there is his patch. There's only two out of the seven that have their tush tags still intact. And um, he is happy is one of them. This is a close up of the tush tag and it says made exclusively for the Walt Disney Company and then it says Disney Store Hammersmith London and then this is my plush doll version of Snow White that I got from the Disney Store and she has the painted or printed face and she's very pretty I love her um, the silkiness of the yellow part of her dress her cute little yellow shoes she's very sweet and then this is my toddler doll of Snow White. And um, I collect toddler dolls. And this one is, and most of my toddler dolls, including this one, um, is exclusive to the outlet stores, the outlet Disney stores in the U.S. And I don't know if they were ever released in the U.K. or any other countries, but they were released in the U.S. And they're actually still for sale in the U.S. outlet Disney stores. And this is her, and I love her cute little yellow shoes, and her dress sparkles. And all of the outlet exclusive dolls, their dresses are made very similar, and they all have sparkly skirts. Basically, the skirt part is um, the same on all of them, and, uh, except for different colors, of course. But this is my Snow White. And she's very pretty. The only thing that I don't like about this one, and I didn't notice it when I bought her, but um, her skirt is kind of like not perfectly straight. You can kind of see that it goes down on this side. So it it's not, you know, perfect. But um, she's mine, and I love her. And this is Snow White. So that was all of my Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs plush and toddler doll. The next ones I want to show you is my Cinderella plush and toddler doll. This is Cinderella, the toddler doll, and she is the outlet Disney store exclusive. And I love her dress. And her shoes have little pink bows on the sides, which I think is a really sweet detail. <clears throat> but this is Cinderella and um, like Snow White and the others, her dress sparkles, but it is cut evenly. <laughs> Thank goodness. Then I also have the plush version of Cinderella and she is a newer one. She actually has the reissued embroidered face and I'm um, sorry if the camera is shaking. My dogs are on the bed and so is my tripod <laughs> but um this is the newer plush version of cinderella and the skirt is very silky and shiny and she's got cute little blue slippers or shoes and um i love this one i just thought she was really pretty the dress is amazing because it's got the cute little it's very true to character and then i also have three little mice from cinderella this is gus or gus gus and he is very precious. He is the um, Disney store. I think I'm not 100% sure, but this is the one that um, is really sought after. I know there's a few different versions of the mice. These are the versions that I wanted, and um, I just think they're very, very sweet. And I love his little tuft of hair, and uh, he just looks like the character. And this is his tag. Don't know if you can see it or not. Hang on. I'm really bad at showing tags. I have little Jack. He's so awesome. He's very cool. And I love how his hat is sitting on the back of his head instead of on the very top. Um, but yeah. And then he's got his little teeth. And these are very small. You know, they're they're um, bigger than actual mice, but <laughs> but they are small to where um, they look really sweet when you put all of the plush from the same movie together. They're kind of true to size. 
But yeah, and their tails are super long too. Look how long that tail is. So that's Jack and Gus, or Jacques. It's spelled Jacques, but I, I think it's spelled Jacques, but um, I think it's pronounced Jack. I think that's how she pronounces it in the movie. But yeah, that's him. And then I also have now, um, and she will probably be in my October Disney haul, um, but I just got her the other day, and this is the little girl mouse, and her name is Susie, and she's got the same little tuft of hair, and uh, her little bonnet. I think it's cute that they made her hat into a bonnet instead of a regular hat, and she's got a little bow on her tail. And um, she actually still has her Disney store tag attached. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just cut that off. That's another thing. I always cut my um, card tags off of my plush, but I keep them. I have a whole bag full of the card tags. And um, it's just a personal preference, but that's what I do with my tags. I cut them off, but I keep them. So this is Bruno. Bruno is amazing. If you watched my, um, I think it was my September Disney haul, maybe August, August, I think it was. Yeah, August, September, or August Disney haul, you would have seen him, and he is fairly new to the collection. He is huge. If you look, um, at the, uh, size comparison, like, this guy, I mean, she's, like, tall, but when she sits down, she's like this compared to him. So, um, I love the fact that he is ginormous. And, uh, he was one of my bucket list plush. And, um, yeah, he's got the three little hairs on the top of his head and the cute little grin. And he has his patch. And, um, his tail is kind of long. So yeah, that's my Bruno. And that is all of my Cinderella, Disney plush, and toddler doll. Next up is Dumbo. This is my standard, regular Dumbo plush. And I got him personally from the Disney store. And he has ginormous ears. I love, love, love the size of his ears. And his sweet little face. And his little outfit, his little clown collar and he has the patch, and um, he's so, so, so soft and cuddly, and he is one of those that is a staple for any Disney collection, Disney plush collection, um, and I'm glad that I bought him before they took away the patches, but um, yeah, so this is my Dumbo. I also have Timothy, and this is one of the two or three, I think there's two different versions that I know of, of Dumb, or of Timothy, and this is one of them. This is the one that I wanted, and he is Disney Parks. He has a Disney Parks tag. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the Parks tag, and um, yeah, he's he's very sweet, and I, I, li I just liked this version better than the Disney Store version. Um, or the, like the little beanie versions, even though he's beanie size, he's not, he doesn't have beans in him. Um, but yeah, this is my little Timothy from the parks. And then this is my Mrs. Jumbo and she is from the parks too. And she actually came with a, um, a little baby Dumbo kind of nestled in her trunk but um, I bought her used on eBay, and um, she didn't have her baby Dumbo with her, so I got her for a good deal. And um, I kind of, at the time, I had a thing, which I still do in a way, have a thing about um, buying or collecting duplicates of the same character, just because there's so, so many different characters. And um, if I had every version of every character, it would be way, way, way too much out of hand. <laughs> um, so I'm having trouble as it is storing and uh, collecting all just one of the different characters, much less multiples. So I try not to get multiples. So that's why it really didn't bother me that um, her baby Dumbo was not with her and um, because I already 
have this guy. So, um, but yeah, but I wanted J Mrs. Jumbo because I love her and she's very sweet and pretty and she has the newer parks tag. Next up is Bambi. This is my Bambi plush and he is so precious. I love the butterfly on his little tail and he's got the patch on him. And he's got huge ears. Like his ears are so huge and fluffy. They have a lot of fluff in them. And his cute little face. And then I have Thumper. Thumper is one of my favorites. And I love his little tooth sticking out. And he's got his patch too. Very cute. <clears throat> Thumper is very squishy and cuddly too. So if you want um, some plush that are like really soft and sweet and cuddly or for like a small child, Thumper is a good one. And his ears, I love how that one ear just flops down. And then this is the little girl bunny that is Thumper's little girlfriend. And um, she is very sweet too. She's basically just the exact same as Thumper, except the girl version. She's got a tooth, but her tooth is in the middle more, and his is off to the side, and her ears are standing up straight, and she's got beautiful eyelashes, and cute little purple eyeshadow, just a hint of purple of eyeshadow. And um, she does not have a patch on either foot. Um, unfortunately, I did not get her when I got the other plush from Bambi. And um, I just didn't get her at the time because she had such a small part in the movie. And um, I just kind of wanted the three Bambi, Thumper, and um, Flower. So I didn't get her at the time when they still had the stamps going on. And um, so yeah, I ended up going back and getting her later. And I'm glad I did, but um, it just kind of stinks that she don't have the patch like the other ones. But that's okay, because she's literally the same exact plush. And then the last one I have is Flower. And he is my favorite character from Bambi. He's so cute. And he's got his stamp. And I like the black stamp with like the silver embroidered letters very pretty and his tail is huge and fluffy and um very well made and he is kind of true to size especially compared to thumper you can see the size difference in the two so he's not the exact same size he's a little bit smaller but um that's okay because that's how he is in the movie but yeah that is all of my bambi plush the next one I want to show you is Coda from Brother Bear. I um, featured him in my last Disney haul. I think it was the September Disney haul. He is one of the newer ones to my collection. And he is the re-release of him. The Disney store released him um, a long time ago. I'm not sure exactly when. And uh, they released other characters along with him from Brother Bear. But this is the, I think it's 20th anniversary of the movie um, re-release. And as far as I know, that this is the only one that they have re-released from the movie. And he is very sweet and very soft. And um, he, like I said, he's from the Disney store. And uh, he does not have a Disney store, like the embroidered Disney store tag along with the care tag. It's just the Disney logo on the care tag. But yeah, this is Coda. The last ones I want to show you for this video is from Fox and the Hound. And this is Todd. He is the fox. And this is the Disney Store re-release of him. This is not the old one. 
unfortunately I was not able to get the old one um, even though I really wanted them the ones with the patches that are a little bit different and um, they're just they were just a little too pricey for my budget and I was very excited that they re-released them and these guys have the embroidered Disney tag that looks like this and um, that's the new tag that they're doing on most of the new plushes now but this is sweet little Todd and I love how bushy his tail is his tail is so bushy and um, it's actually attached to his back it's sewn on and then of course I have copper and he is so precious I love 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 his face and his eyes and he's got huge long fluffy ears and the ears don't have any stuffing or padding in them they just lay there on his sides so he's very very cute and he's got little circles on his paws and um, he's got this is his back he's got the big huge circle there and he's got a little spot there and yep another little spot there and uh yeah so this is copper they look so so cute together on the shelf like they are just so precious because he has such a happy face and very true to the character of the movie and then little copper with his sweet little puppy dog eyes so that's these two all right guys so that's all that i'm going to show you for this video um, like I said earlier, this is only part one, and I am planning on going through all of my plush, so stay tuned for part two and uh, more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Bye!